Hello again, everyone. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're all well. Okay, so back in um, Euro Truck Simulator 2 again. And um, yeah, the next episode in the Paris 1 to 1 scale map. Um, so I am really sorry about the last one with the um, audio. So yeah, I did play back and the first part was all right. But yeah, the second part was um, really boomy. So I am really sorry about that. But when you start up a new profile, on Euro Truck Simulator, everything reverts back. So I've got all the controls. I copied and pasted it um, from another profile in the Documents folder, um, but it didn't do the audio, unfortunately. So yeah, I am genuinely sorry about that. So thank you if you watched it all the way through. Um, I genuinely thought that, uh, yeah, I'd lost it all. Okay, so I've just chosen another, obviously, um, quick job because we haven't got our own truck at the moment. Um, money is going to be really slow coming in this. Right, we will clear that so I can turn in a little bit sharper now. The blue car. Um, yeah, so I've just selected a quick job. And, um, yeah, it just happens to be this Volvo. So what I'll do, because it's only close, so seven minutes, when we've completed this one... I'm going to choose the third job again because that worked well. Unless it's an IV code because I don't like driving them. Okay. Yeah, so I hope you're well. Hope you're having a good one. And I hope some of you are going to try this um, map mod as well because it is really good in my opinion. Okay, so I can't do anything about that. Going up on the curb. I will try and avoid it where possible, but obviously I can't be driving around at two miles an hour everywhere. Because uh, it hurt the channel a bit, wouldn't it? But I'm not going to go around ramming everything. That's not me. Not on this game, anyway. God, that's tight. Yeah, so anxiety building up already. It's a shame we've already done this road. But where I don't... Oh no, it's one of them trailers that's all funky. Um, yeah, well I don't know the map or anything, it'll be difficult for me to uh, choose places that we haven't been. But yeah, if you want a series on this, I'm happy to do one, um, if it gets enough traction, because obviously I don't want to just waste time stressing out. If no one's going to watch. Yeah, so if you're not aware... Did we hit that? The alarm didn't go off. I'm not sure, though. Um, yeah, if you're not aware, I don't like trailers <laughs> that aren't just standard because I never drove one in real life that wasn't just a standard. So getting my head round it, I'm 37, getting my head round something like that is um, difficult because it all acts different and I'm just not used to it. Like, my brain isn't programmed for it. I really struggled on um, Farming Simulator with them awful trailers that um, the front axle spins, my goodness. I don't know what they're called, dollies is it? But my goodness, I could never park one of them buggers. Right, here we go. So I'm not going to worry too much about speed either. So speeding, there's the, uh, well, fully nude woman then, like I said about in the last episode. Yeah, not going to worry about the traffic lights too much either. Um, there is traffic, but I haven't boosted it up to level 9 still because um, I don't want the game crashing. And also this is more about the tight roads and everything. But yeah, if I do a series, I will boost the traffic up. Don't worry about that. I think the traffic will actually cause glitches, though. Like I said in the last episode, so I was on the first, on the test that I did on this game, um, the AI was just bashing its way through. Um, it wasn't recognising that there was an obstacle there, so yeah, I don't think it would be very good viewing experience and there's nothing that I can do to fix that either yeah so a lot of curb riding well 
Yeah, let's call it cab calling, shall we? If I do do a series, but if I did a series, what I'd probably do is try and plan the route a little bit. So, obviously, when I used to do deliveries in London, if I saw that I was 10 kilometres away, well, 10 miles away, because obviously we use miles. If I saw that I was 10 miles away and it was trying to make me go up back streets, I'd ignore it and I'll carry on driving. Because, um, yeah, my GPS was very good. But sometimes it used to, yeah, do some weird stuff. It really did to try and avoid traffic. But in a lorry, you can't do that. You can't avoid traffic, really. You can do, I don't recommend this. So if you're a lorry driver, yeah, I, I don't recommend doing this. But sometimes if there was very slow moving traffic on the motorway, I would go off a slip road and then come back down the other side to skip some, but yeah, it only it like saves maybe a minute or something, so it's not really worth it. Right, so we're all almost there. So, like I said when I first started, I'm just going to pick a random job, so it'll be the third one, unless it's an Iveco, just because I don't think they're modelled very well on. ETS. Are we going to clip that? Sharpen the curb a little bit. Perfect. Oh, a little bit more. There we go. Right. And yeah, the um, link for this map mod will be in the description. So if you'd like to check it out, please feel free. It's, there's no charge to it. And it's on the... Um, SCS website. Yeah, there aren't really many reviews on this. Certainly not in English. So, um, what's his name? Simulator Adventures did a review on it. I haven't actually watched it because um, I like to learn things myself. But he has got a really good channel, so he does a lot of Beam MG. So if that's your thing, please feel free to check him out. No link or relation to him. Never spoke to him just think that um, YouTube's not all about the jolly, is it? Right, so, we'll get rid of that. Okay, so, leveled up. And, um, let's do that one. And please don't be an Arvico. Perfect. That'll do. Right. Let's load it up. So yeah, money's um, <clears throat> slow because it's one to one scale, but you can get economy boosters. Um, and we've already got the ability to get a hundred thousand euro loan. So that's something. Come on now. Okay, nice truck, um, and are we going out there, yeah, okay, right, so that's all good, as Mario once said, let's he go, yeah, so obviously, yeah, there's going to be some graphical glitches, but, yeah, I never... I never really criticise mods because um, they're free and I certainly couldn't do it. So, <laughs> yeah, I think we should be a little bit easier on mod creators. Some of the um, mod creators that I've seen have got some real grief. They've made really good mods, released them, and then the... Yeah, like on the Steam store... Sorry, not on the Steam store, on the um, Steam Workshop. People just constantly, like, putting them down. And I think, like, where's the motivation going to come from for them to carry on developing or creating mods? It's not going to happen, is it? 
So if you don't like a mod, just uninstall it. Or maybe get, give some like feedback and say this isn't quite working or whatever. I just stalled. But um, yeah, don't wish bad things on them. That's just not right. Right, we did just hit a car. There we go. That's alright. I doubt it's got a recording dash camera, so let's just go. Obviously, I wouldn't do that in real life. I did knock a car when I was lorry driving. I was so gutted. I'd like to be able to demonstrate exactly how it happened, but it'd be difficult. But yeah, it was at night, and um, I, was, I was actually at a delivery on my own. No one there delivering car parts, and um, we kept complaining about this one delivery site because there was just cars parked all over the place in the most awkward place and um, yeah kept doing it every night and they kept saying yep yeah, we won't park like that anymore we understand and then obviously it just kept on going and this one night I drove round it was like a U a big U that I had to do around a building and um, the way the cars were parked Unfortunately, I couldn't get through, so I had to reverse back round. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately, as I was reversing round, I didn't notice a little Kia... Kia? Um, Picanto. And, uh, yeah, reversing round, pitch black, and then I just tapped it, and as soon as... As soon as I tapped it, obviously, I was slamming on the brakes, but... It was so annoying, it really was. It didn't do that much damage. And I probably could have got away with it because, yeah, they wouldn't have searched through the cameras for it, I'm sure. They probably wouldn't even have noticed the damage. But um, it wasn't a Kia dealer, by the way. Um, but yeah, lovely little car. So I jumped out, took a load of pictures, and after an accident with that company, you were meant to just go back to the base. But I just couldn't, I wasn't in the right frame of mind to do that because I was thinking I've probably lost my job and um, they're going to be arseholes about it. And we've all been complaining constantly and saying that an accident's just waiting to happen. I think an accident had actually happened there before. But anyway, yeah, so I took all the pictures and everything and um, finished off my route. And then when I got back, I told them that I'd had this collision and uh, yeah they were actually all right with it because I was thinking like I handed my docket in with all the keys and everything I was thinking this is the last time I ever do this in a sense relieved because I hated that job but um, yeah they were actually really nice about it they gave me a day off paid and uh, yeah they like when they saw the pictures and everything because I didn't only take pictures of the damage and the car, I took pictures of bloody everything, showing that, yeah, they'd parked really inconsiderately, and, um, yeah, it, because I was looking that way, I just didn't think that I was going to be reversing back round, so I didn't take into account that there was a car park there, it was my fault because I was um, driving unaware of the situation. But yeah, it was bloody annoying, it really was. And a real knock of my pride as well, because that was my first and only accident as a lorry driver. But yeah, the um, air pressure is low. Okay. Yeah, the day that I had off... It was all sorted in the background. And there was um, CCTV there and they did agree that the car was parked in a fashion that didn't really allow yeah, a lorry to reverse back round. Or well, not easily anyway. What is that? 
So is that a French vehicle? I just don't know. I've never seen one of them before. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm just going to slam on for a second and see whether that's a Renault badge. Uh, no, it wasn't. I don't know what that car or what that van is, but I like it. Yeah, the worst thing about it was it was a lovely little car as well. Like, it was pristine. And, uh, yeah. And it wasn't even one of the um, cars from that dealer. It wasn't a Kia dealership. Because it, if it was one of the cars that was from that dealer, I would have been a little bit smug about it. You know, like, park in my way, I'll just ram you out of the way. <laughs> Right. So yeah, I'm going to speed on the motorway bits because you all know what the motorway is like on ETS. So I could just pop it onto uh, cruise control and sit at 70, but it's just going to waste some of your time. And I'm just trying to demonstrate the map. Yeah, that was such a bad night, though. It really was. And it was probably about my third drop out of about 12 maybe and yeah I was just so miserable after that because it just shouldn't have happened because we'd all warned them but yeah it's just the way it goes when you ignore people But yeah, a couple of the dealerships were known for it. There was another one that you had to reverse all the way in. Just because... Yeah, it was such a long walk. So if you unlocked and then... Uh, walked down, it was such a long walk that you'd... Um, yeah, be late. So... Basically, there was enough room to turn a lorry round down there. But only if people had parked in the car park spaces. But, um, yeah, they hardly ever did. And then you couldn't really reverse out because it was out onto a main road that was always pretty busy. So, um, yeah, it wasn't worth running that risk. So, yeah, you had to reverse down there. And then sometimes you'd get down there and you'd think, yep, could have made this a lot easier on myself. Well, I, I really like this map, I've got to admit. So I've got no relation to the person who's made this map either. I don't know their name or anything like that. But I am really enjoying it. Right, we'll just bomb along here. I've got the Jazzy Cat mod running as well, so the vehicles and everything, and the uh, trucks, they'll all be real brands. Yeah, I hope this is a little bit popular so that I can um, continue it. Because it'd be nice to get my own truck on this. I don't know how it's raining there. Quite bizarre, isn't it? But then saying that, I was going through the um, Dartford Tunnel once. And uh, this big splodge... Like, we're meant to be going off here by the looks of it. This big splodge of dirty water dropped down about... Oh, jolly, about halfway through it. And, uh, yeah, that was weird. It was obviously, like, some kind of condensation or something. But, yeah, it was horrible. Yeah, it was, like, murky and almost a little bit muddy. 
Um, and we're not worrying about the red lights now, are we? So let's just get going. Oh, so that's an underground delivery area there. By the looks of it on there. Nope. You having fun there, mate? <laughs> I'm not bothered by the rain, so yeah, that'd be me. Pale, I hate. It's well, I've got a shaved head. Pale feels like you're being shot by a shotgun constantly on your head, so I don't like pale. And I've commandeered someone's garage before in a hailstorm because um, yeah I felt like I was going to die I was walking to work I used to park up in this free car park and then walk about I don't know a mile to work and uh, yeah, it started hailing and it was really really painful there weren't any bus stops there that I could kind of shelter in so I just started running and I saw this bloke working in his garage and yeah really unfair of me but I just ran into his garage and gave him quite a shock okay right so we're going in here not going to worry about the red light if I do a series, I will, but this is just trying to demonstrate the map, so I don't really see the point in um, yeah, wasting everyone's time like that. Um, okay, so a few of you like the um, parking attempt, so uh, what we'll do is go too close to this wall so that we hit it. I'll just back it in here and use this to um, spin it round, so you get two parts. Well, three actually, because we've already done a delivery, haven't I? Um, and this is the sort of trailer that I like, just standard. So, when I said about that before, yeah, I just like standard trailers because I know how to use them. Right, so let's not take the uh, side of the trailer out. Go up here a little bit. Um, I need to turn that dialogue off as well for auto parking so we don't auto park on this channel and if you've just got the game or you're thinking about getting it I highly recommend never skipping it's, yeah parking is uh, one of the best bits and when you do get good at it it's satisfying. You get a sense of achievement. Right. That'll do. Uh, engine off. And... Right, what time are we at? 23 minutes. Okay, so... Yeah, let's do another one. So, three again. Unless it's IV go. Right, another Volvo. We did a Volvo before, I think. And quite a long journey as well. Um, 14 minutes. So we won't be able to finish this. But um, we can certainly start it. And I've just done two parks. At least you've seen some of that. Nice car in the middle there. I want one. They just got everything bang on with that Mercedes, in my opinion. And there's some really nice mods that you can do to the um, dash as well, so you can take the middle bit out, the middle digital screen, and put like a um, Android setup in there. And I've done that before with cars. It really does bring a car into um yeah 
modern modernization. Right, I I don't know whether I've ever driven this Volvo before. With that GPS coming out of the dash. Pretty cool, isn't it? I, I must have done, actually, thinking about it. Right. So, yeah, we'll uh, do a few minutes driving. I don't want to do too long a episode, though, because obviously people get bored of all the crashing. No, I think I'm doing all right. Obviously, there's... Um, in real life, you're not under pressure. You're not having to narrate... Well, you are under pressure, but... YouTube pressure. Not having to narrate or anything like that. And, um... Yeah, also, obviously, you'd be avoiding stupid little roads that lorries shouldn't be down. Hopefully. But sometimes it happens, because deliveries have to be everywhere, unfortunately. And what I used to... hate the most... was, um... Yeah, when you were driving down a road that you knew wasn't suitable for a lorry and you'll be thinking, well, if this is a delivery spot up here for lorries, one might be coming the other way and you'll just hope for the best. Yeah, we've got a lot of roads in the UK that should be one way and uh, it wouldn't take that much to make them one way. But unfortunately, they aren't going to change it. Okay, so a lot of this might actually be on the motorway, mightn't it? Yeah, I can't really do anything about that. So I just, because I'd said the third job, I couldn't really back out of that. I just... The reason why I'm doing that is just so that people don't think I'm choosing the easiest. And also, it just saves me a little bit of time messing around, doesn't it? Um, we're going off here. Yeah, so like I said, the adverts are um, in the game already. So they are real. But obviously they're in French. And... Jolly speaks French like Del Boy. So. <laughs> yeah, the handling in the wet. Like, it's good that it changes the handling, but it doesn't change it that realistically, to be honest. Have you got your fog lights on? That's something that really grates with me. Fog lights when it's raining. Because then when they're coming towards you, if there's surface water, like if a normal car's coming towards you and there's surface water, you can see their headlights four times, but fog lights eight times. So annoying. Something that really grates. You're not driving a rally car, you're driving a van. But you're an NPC, so we'll let you off. Right, it's annoying. We've already done this road. Um, I suppose just flat out then. Yeah, so I think... Yeah, like obviously this is the second episode in of this map mod. The glitches that I've found have been very tolerable so the first one was the graphical glitches so um we've seen a kind of hole in the floor on the first episode and a few of the curbs the side of the curb is kind of missing so you can see through the map um which is a little bit ugly but it's also easily kind of ignored isn't it so that was the first thing the graphical glitches and the second thing which I didn't catch on camera but I always do honest reviews was um, in the test one well I was just making sure that the game ran alright um, a lorry was coming towards me on a little bit of a narrow street and it didn't recognise the parked car so it was on the correct side of the road 
but the road position was as if there was no parked cars there and it just ploughed through them. So they were all bibbing, the alarms were going off and um, yeah, it kind of came to a stop where there'd been a collision. So yeah, sorry that I didn't get that on camera, but just wanted to make sure that it worked on 1.48. Frame rate wise, um, obviously I haven't got the traffic on nine, which is recommended. But um, yeah, we've been doing a solid sort of 50 frames per second. And I think I've capped it at 60, so it's not running too bad. I've got a 3060 Ti graphics card and uh, yeah, the rest of my specs are on Discord. If you're curious. Obviously we're running a few mods as well, so I've done a list of mods that I use on my series. Um, so if you go onto my YouTube page and type in settings and mods used, that video will come up. So I've got some of them running. The real mirrors thing is on. The Jazzy Cat traffic pack. And uh, yeah, a few other bits as well. So they might be hampering the frame rate, but yeah, it seems to be running really smooth, doesn't it? I'm not cutting out any glitches or anything like that. But yeah, they're all the ones that I've noticed. There might have been a few more, but obviously, yeah, I'm kind of concentrating on driving, believe it or not. And speaking as well. Right. Five minutes away. What time are we out of the recording? 32 minutes. Let's let's do it. So, yeah, I am sorry about it running over, but let's just go for it. So I'm going to be flat out. We'll get there as quick as possible. Are we going off here? Yeah. Sorry, mate. Okay, turn that off. Oh, I forgot to disable that as well. So I always disable them blockers. Is they're just so ugly. I wish that it was, um, the blockers were made so that when you go up to them, they appear rather than just always being there because they're bloody ugly aren't they they really are but what can you do okay so down here A little bit of a glitch there. So I don't know what happened. Oh, we missed a turn in. Um, so we're going to... I did say that I was going to stick to GPS. So I'm going to go over the curb a little bit. And I've just noticed we've got a rear steer trailer. Oh, okay. So it is sending us up there anyway. Yeah, I don't want to make it seem like I'm trying to avoid difficult roads or whatever. I'm genuinely not. So with this, I'm going to have to be out here. Just spin it in, because otherwise we'll take out the street furniture. Oh, and another little crash I did was um, on purpose. I spoke um, earlier about the little Kia that I hit. But yeah, there was one other accident as well, but I did it on purpose. There was a sign at the side of the road and it made reversing into this place so bloody difficult. So it wasn't a critical sign. Like it wasn't speed or anything like that. I can't remember what it was, but that was on my regular route and it annoyed me so much that, yeah, one day I just drove up to it and 
pushed it with the mirror. <laughs> Just twisted it round about 20 degrees or something. Right, that's going off. But we didn't hit that. So I don't know why the alarm's going off there. But yeah, it wasn't a critical sign and I was just mad at it. Really mad at it. Because every night it used to cause me so much grief. So yeah, I thought I'd do something about it. Concentration. It's still raining, unfortunately. I'd like to be able to turn the wipers off. I never drove one of them um, little trailers that they have in the cities. Or towed, I should say. Bald, whatever. I um, can't remember what they're called. No, I can't remember. But they're short. Right, let's turn this off. I think they're on ATS as well. I think you can get them. So that would be more realistic, driving around with one of them. So maybe if we do a series, we'll um, give one of them a try. But yeah, if you'd, um, if you'd like a series, I'd, I'd never beg for thumbs up or anything, but if you'd like a series, please consider um, giving this a thumbs up because... Uh, yeah, obviously, the more people that see it, it helps the algorithm, basically. So the more people that see it, um, the more interest is generated. And then, uh, yeah, I can see whether it's worth doing, really. But, yeah, if you're not bothered, don't, don't worry about it. Um, the file size was... Um, about 900 megabytes, I think. So, yeah, if that helps anyone. Easy to install as well. It came with um, instructions, but yeah, it's pretty self explanatory if you used. Don't you check your watch? It was pretty self explanatory. I am only joking. Right. Okay. Yeah, so obviously rear steer um, does help. It does make it easier, but not when you're used to not rear steer. But if you're, um, yeah, wanting to get good at parking, I suggest just sticking to the same kind of trailer and just parking it over and over again. And I wouldn't go for anything complicated like this. I'll just go for the standard, um, yeah, standard setup. Uh, is that one standard next to us? Yeah, I'll just go for that. Um, let me quickly go into this view. Um, that one. Because if you can master that, then that's the, uh, yeah, that's the kind of most common. Whereas these ones... They're just a pain in the bum. Anyway, right, so let's get this um, delivered. Handbrake, engine off. Lights off and done. Okay, so yeah, that does bring us to the end of this one. So... Thanks for joining me, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join me in the next one. So cheers, everyone, and bye for now.